Hello there, Cancer. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of May 23rd through the 29th. On Monday, the card that you have coming up is the Ten of Coins. And the Ten of Coins just talks about a happy, stable home life. Um, this talks about taking a step upwards as far as feeling secure about something. This can be anything from progressing forward in a relationship with your significant other to bringing a new baby into the home, to getting a raise or a promotion, um, adding on to your home, upgrading your vehicle, um, starting a, a new savings account. Anything that makes you feel more secure in the tangible world can show up on this card and it's an upgrade of your sense of security. Now Tuesday, what we have coming up is the Judgment card. And the Judgment card just talks about that you have a decision to make on Tuesday. And this decision does impact other people in your sphere of influence as well as yourself. When this card comes up, I do feel like you are taking care to uh, make sure that this decision is a positive move forward for as many people are as involved possible. Okay. So let's see here, Wednesday, what we have coming up for you is the Sun card, yay. Now the Sun card to me talks about um, being able to do something um, that you really are inspired to do, that you enjoy doing, that you feel productive doing, and getting to do it your way without somebody leaning over your shoulder telling you, oh, do it like this. No, 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 do it like that. Oh, that way's not good enough. Try it like this. Nobody messing around with you like that. Just you get to do it the way you want to do it, and you're having fun with it and being productive all at the same time. Really good card to have come up. Thursday, what we have showing up is the Three of Clubs in Reverse. And the Three of Clubs in Reverse is just telling me that on Thursday, um, you're tweaking something. Um, the easiest thing to describe is you may be traveling and you're changing your traveling plans or tweaking your traveling plans as you go. Um, this can also come up as planning a travel or planning a trip and tweaking those plans. So maybe adjusting and changing some things on the travel plan as you're still planning, not after you're already on the trip. And then finally, the other way that this is going to be manifesting for some of you is fine-tuning or tweaking those dreams that you have. So those things that you think are perfect and that you would love to have as a part of your life, as you're getting closer to having those actually manifest and come in, you're starting to realize, wait a second, maybe this isn't all that it's cracked up to be. Maybe there's uh, some other things that I would like kind of instead of or in place of to modify um, these dreams. So I feel like you're basically holding on to the same dream. You're just fine-tuning it or tweaking it, making it fit you just a little bit better. Okay, so that's Thursday. Friday, you have the Seven of Swords coming up here. The Seven of Swords is telling me that for most of you Cancers, you're picking up the pieces of something. So maybe you've had a conversation with somebody and something came out of that conversation that um, really kind of threw you for a loop. Uh, maybe there was some kind of new news that you weren't planning on, and so now you're having to sort of readjust what your plans uh, were in any areas where whatever you found out may touch your plans. Uh, so kind of picking up some pieces like that. Um, but this can also be something just as simple as cleaning up after a dinner party, um, picking up pieces in any kind of way. Now the other way that this is coming in for some of you Cancers, you do have somebody in your life on Friday who is trying to pull the wool over your eyes. But this is an interesting card because even though this person is trying to pull the wool over your eyes or trying to be sneaky with you about something, you know exactly what's up. <laughs> They're not getting away with anything. Now you might let them think that they are, but in reality, they're not getting away with anything. You know exactly what's going on. Okay, so that's Friday. Saturday, what we have coming up with is the Five of Clubs in Reverse. Five of Clubs in Reverse is kind of telling me that you've been in a really competitive situation lately. Um, for some of you, this is healthy competition, and for some of you, not so much. Um, but when the Five of Clubs is coming up in reverse this time, it's telling me that that competitive situation is just becoming less important to you on Saturday. It's like you've had some kind of aha moment where you've realized, you know, I could spend a lot of energy in this competition, but it doesn't give me much to really show for it. So 
what am I doing here? <laughs> it just is not as important as it used to be. Um, and to me, um, this feels like a release. It feels like it's very freeing to realize it's just not that important. Sunday. I really can't go on to Sunday. I have to finish up on Saturday. So this five of clubs in reverse, for some of you, how this is going to manifest is maybe you've been in a situation with a romantic interest where um, you know that you're not the only person that they're dating or they're talking to. Maybe they're trying to tell you that they're really serious about you and that you're the one for them, but you know that there are other people that are in the mix somewhere, <laughs> whether you actually see them or not. Um, so for those of you that are in that situation, this feels like to me like you're going to be like, you know what, just the fact that this person is saying these things to me, making me think I'm so important, but yet there are other people in the mix, um, kind of tells me that the words aren't lining up with the actions here. And it also kind of shows me a little bit about this person's character. And so all of a sudden... Where before you might have been thinking, you know what, I'm going to beat out the competition. I am the girl or I am the guy and he's going to see that. Now you're kind of thinking, you know what, do I really want to have this person as a significant person in my life when he has these kinds of morals? Because if he's saying this stuff to me, is he saying this stuff to the other people? Is he telling them they're the most important? Do I really want to have this in my life? That's what I feel like. You're kind of having that aha moment that says, hmm, I don't know if I want to make this relationship as important as I have been making it and kind of backing out of that that competition with the other people that this person is interested in besides yourself. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's move on to Sunday. Five of coins showing up, and the five of coins really just tells me that you are tightening up your belt on Sunday. So maybe you're making a new purchase. Maybe you're buying a car and this car payment is bigger than the last car payment you had, or maybe you didn't have a car payment. Um, maybe you are committing to some other payment. Maybe you're co-signing with somebody, or maybe there's, maybe you're buying land or rental properties or a new residence, uh, and you have more money that is going out in payments out of your budget. But there's something here that talks about tightening up the belt. So um, the budget becomes a little bit more um, restrictive than what it has been starting on Sunday. Okay, so that is your week, Cancer. Thank you so much for stopping by, for hanging out, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. Everyone have a fantastic week, and I will see you guys back here the next time. Peace out.